Hello everyone, I'm a revolutionary mocha lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, we have our good old daddy, Zapata here, our Mexican daddy, and we are currently in the middle of a war against good old brotherly Santa Ana. Last time we started a war with him, as well as finished off Moctezuma, our other brother, because Maximilian is long, long dead. But, all good things must come to an end at some point. So, uh, we're doing okay against Santa Anna. He has, you know, mostly just robots like us, and that's okay. We can't pierce each other, but we can beat each other with our metal arms quite a bit, and our laser weaponry. They do have some... What is this? Oh, motorized. Cool. Motorized. Pancho Villa. Let's get ourselves reorganized before we continue assaulting the robotic motorized strongholds that is Santa Anna's land. Soon to be ours, though. Soon to be ours. Oh, we do have some divisions, some robot divisions over here. Many Mr. Gutsies. Or Mr. Handies. Probably Mr. Gutsies. We got plenty of supplies for everything, including bomber planes. Very nice, very nice. Let's get up to the line, guys. Let's enjoy ourselves a little bit. And, oh, we are getting attacked by Zapata's human helpers. No, not attacked by these guys, but attacked by some of Santa Ana soldiers. Let's open the mines, though. Capitalists have long said mining in Central Mexico was un- economical. But you know what? Cost-benefit analysis is a tool of the oppressors. And in exchange, we shall gladly get 16 more scrap metal. Oh, scavenge old world spy book. Oh, that sucks. We no longer get that. That's okay, though. No worries. No worries. And yes, I did double check. The person was... I had one of my subscribers say yesterday that, oh, the new research and production design people, it applies to new goods, new, new things that are being created. So I forgot about that. So, my bad, regarding yesterday's video. Oh well, sometimes I don't remember what's going on, or I don't really realize what's going on, but I try to have a good time with it anyways. Let's continue to maybe attack in some select places. That would be very, as some people would say, bueno. Gonna do that. Revolutionaries keep moving up. And we gotta make sure we get a massive stockpile of robots. Lots and lots of robots, because I wanna make these 40 combat with. And I'm gonna need some logistic companies too. Ooh, peace conference. Uh oh. Oh, the ranchers, the ranchers are gone. We have a big old border with Kaisar. Not quite ideal, but you know, so be it. Whatever. Montevideo, does anyone have upgrades? Chester. Hello, no. Benjamin, no. Well, we do have propulsion charge advancements. That's pretty nice. That's pretty darn nice. Grenade machine guns get an more anti-tank, which is really just rocket launchers. Let's go ahead and grab some logistic companies. Those will be necessary for our big old robots. Big old bots. Um, at this point... You guys can go a little crazy. Uh, they can't pierce us, which is nice. Yeah, they can't pierce us. We got some motorized that use spokes, wheels. Very good, very good. Uh, oh, oh, we got a dockyard. Very nice. Oh, am I researching? Oh, we have triremes. Nice. We got triremes. We got oars. We've got light signals. We got uh, engine order telegraph. This is all delightful stuff. We got long range optics. And I can't afford any of this stuff. Oh, my naval XP is really not bueno. Um, because you guys are busy repairing, perhaps? Yeah, go ahead and do that. I, I forgot that we were doing that. Go ahead and for now, make some more convoys. I doubt I'll need that many. But that's okay. Can't do anything here. I could build up some more military factories and dockyards. I don't feel like it, though. Let's research some more ship stuff. And we have more than enough manpower right now. I think we might be good for the rest of the game. I could be wrong. Actually, I'm probably wrong about that, since I want to make these divisions 40 combat width. So, uh, you guys are doing a great job. Pancho Villa. My heart goes out to Pancho Villa. He will be known as a great general throughout the history of Mexico. An absolutely great, great general. Um, general. Hmm. I can produce some more. Oh, wow, we're not making any basic laser weaponry. That's okay. Do that, then. That is totally okay with me. And you know what? We're doing so well on supplies. I usually don't do this. Let's go ahead and do upgrades. Reinforcements will stay at the top, but focus more on upgrades as well. And actually, medium, medium, medium. That's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. We have 17 Coast Guard divisions, which is nice. Pancho Villa is level 6. I'd like to see him become level 8 before the campaign is done, which might happen. Uh, let's get some more reinforcements. We have two more uh, revolutionary robots. I love it. And we have sentry. Oh my goodness, we got sentry bots now. So good. So good. Can I upgrade you? No. 
But that's okay. You're gonna be even buffer, stronger, better. Good. Delightful. What are the? Oopsie. Let me see. What are the losses on each side? Uh, let's get speed because why not? Losses. Well, we've lost 60 versus 5,000. That's kind of insane. Now we've done 5,000 casualties, and Nueva Atlan has done 400. Nueva Atlan has lost 3,000. And actually, before this, I was before I was recording this, I was checking out Nueva Atlan versus Force of the Atlan. Chichen Itza. So Atlan doesn't have a lot of divisions. It got a, a, a lot of manpower though, but Chichen Itza has like more than triple, maybe quadruple the divisions of Nueva Atlan, but of course has way less manpower. So it's very interesting to see what they are all up to, we'll say. Up to. So we have into overworld attacks. Expel the Rift Rap. We might do that. Um, open the mines. Very nice. I want you guys to be careful. I want you to attack, but be careful with what you do. Oh, you're not doing anything down there. Go over there. And you guys go over there as well. And you know what? Do we have enough planes? We do not. No matter. Oh, yeah. Like yesterday when we tried this out. I can't put you anywhere, so I have to manually control you. That is disappointing. But we're going to get robotics, or robots, for the people. And you get a robot. And you get a robot. Sorry, you thought this was the line to get food? No, you get a robot instead of food. Ah, love it. And I'm joined here with my cat, Revolutionary Binky. But he's tired, so he's taking a nap. A nap he deserves. Cool. Uh, just keep doing what you're doing, guys. I'm not really using the infantry, but these infantry divisions do have... A ton of piercing. Holy goodness. Screw it. You guys are going to go in too. I don't like using these fleshy, squishy people. Hmm, squishies. But, uh, go right on ahead, guys. Oh, we need support. Do we not have any support equipment? Oh. I didn't realize I didn't make any support equipment. Oh. Well, alright. There you go. There you go. I guess. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. Really no big loss. I mean, Santa Ana is pretty much dead at this point. Let's go ahead and start justifying Angenta del Sol. They have a lot of ships. That's a lot of ships. That's going to take some time for us to go to war with them. That's totally okay with me. Totally okay. I know we can get... Oh, wow, that was fast. Cores on all of Mexico eventually. So, that'd be good. Thank you, Santa Ana, for being my brother. And now we can do the Perpetual Revolution and then liberate the South. Actually... Oh, I don't think 20 days. Maybe I should... Shouldn't have justified on these guys. That's okay. We got some dockyards, though. Dockyards. What are you doing? Convoys. Absolutely. Good. I'll make some more ships soon with updated stuff. Just not yet, though. Just because I want to make sure when I actually produce these ships, I don't have to send them back to port someday to make sure that they're, you know, okay. You guys do that. Bring in six down here. There's not a lot of entryways into Junta del Sol from the south. There's a few. Four right there. Four more in the middle. Tierra City. One, two, three, four. Come right there. Awesome. Awesome. That's that's all the waterways we have over there. You guys, just kind of hang out. Uh, let the infantry come around too. Maybe in the port. I might try to navally invade with these um, revolutionaries. Infantry, just kind of hang out. I don't really need you for very much right now. Just kind of guard against Petro Chico. I doubt they'll attack us. I really don't think they will. So, anyways, let's go ahead and... We'll let time go on. We'll get more focuses done. We're going to build up or defend our coasts. God, I hate Mexico. There's so much coast. But guard the coast nonetheless. Uh, wherever we are at. Free fighters. Oh, advanced tools. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, my goodness. Mexico, why did you become such a wasteland? It's because every place became a wasteland. And do that. We need 65 divisions in total. That's a lot. Next up, though... Um, resources. Do we need any more resources? Are we getting... No, we are mighty fine on resources. Oh, goodness. Common energy. Not making any of those guys. Maintenance? Sure. We're using maintenance companies right now. We might as well continue with that. Logistic company is very nice. Thank you for coming by. Let's get some more of you guys. Uh, planes. You can go ahead and stop what you're doing. And you can all come down here. Oh, thank you. Come all the way over here. That'd be great. Now, we only have three army XP. It's not ideal to make 40 combat with divisions with only three army 
XP. Go ahead and put this on high priority for now, too. Um, let's upgrade uh, some triremes then. So we got the light signals, we got the ores, which isn't great. We got long range optics. We've got no armor. We've got nothing over there. Medium deck weaponry. Lowers our anti air. That's good enough for now. Nothing over there, and then nothing over there. I don't think I've researched any weapons. So that's okay. These aren't great ships, but they're my ships. Go to that place. Make two of them. There you go. Get rid of you. Wondrous. Great. Now we'll produce ships that are relatively okay. And we have 45 light cruisers. Very nice. Very, very nice. What can we do? I can't expel the Rift Ref yet because we have a lot of stability already. Oh, uh, we could do scavenge for old world tech or... Oh! Kaza, are you... Hmm, actually, New Vegas is pretty large. They took out Ashton, Hopeville, the Fiends. Only the Mojave chapter is still... Mojave Brotherhood is still here. Uh, cool, you guys. Thanks for playing. Thanks for joining the game. We got 211 factories. We're still trying to build up a ton of roads, which is nice. We have industrial fertilizer. In time, we shall build all of Santa's Anna's territory up, because that would be great and lovely. Dockyards. I really don't need dockyards. Really, not too much. Build some up, though. Build some more civilian factories, because you know what? We can. And focus a lot on um, just build up roads. Just, just why not? Land doctrines, of course, are done. Specialized doctrine. Aerial warfare, screw it, because why not? Why not? Why not? Tohono Nation, you're still alive somehow. Ah, robots for the people, very good. Perpetual revolution. Um, I need the glowing ash Leon and Reynosa. Huh. The glowing ash... Re oh, uh-oh. Radioactive... Oh, hold on. Glowing ash. Oh, I, I own the glowing ash. What else do I need to own? Leon. Oh, do I not own Leon? Oh, Petro Chico. You are in my way, brother. Hmm. Sounds like I gotta go to war with Petro Chico before we're done here. Uh, let's go ahead and do vehicles, air, mm, party stuff. The Rising Star, less monthly population for a little bit more construction speed. That doesn't sound great, but we'll do it anyways. Zapata is convinced that the Wasteland is well suited uh, for neo-anarcho-zapatismo thought. And, of course, can govern his society accordingly. Absolutely. Absolutely, positively. How strong is Petro Chico, since we're waiting for the war against Genta del Sol? They have not a lot of divisions and not a lot of manpower. Anti-grav engines? Ooh. More hardness? Ooh. Justify on them already, since we already have enough infantry divisions on the border with them. And we have air support? Sure. Yeah, we have 14 divisions against their max of 12. So that's not too bad. Uh, what are they doing right now? Reclaim equipment cash. They get 250 American. American, not Mexican, but American. Common energy weaponry. <clears throat> the Great Protector. Huh. Invest, deal. Invest, deal. Where's deal with the devil? Taking the mantle. Step into the role of a true Petro Chico. Interesting. Look at that manpower. We're still getting more and more and more. I love it. Ah, uh, scavenge for old world tech because we have time to do so. Do we have time to make more planes? That's a good question. Yes and no. We should probably make even more planes, but only so much. Uh, you know what? Everyone, since we're waiting, just train. Just go and train. Pilot exercises. We could probably use a little bit more air XP so that we can... Research our doctrines a little bit faster. Maybe we can upgrade planes in the long run. And we're not really using them at all. We have plenty enough energy cells. Holy cow, we got a lot. So, level 1 rookies. I never really looked at this before. The debuffs aren't bad. And just minus 1% air attack agility. That's not too bad. Maintenance efficiency. Good. How about some more maintenance efficiency? More revolutionaries. Good. Oh, actually, long range radio. Nice. Go ahead and do side channel attack. You guys, since you're over here anyways. Um, yeah, I have more infantry than I do robots. So this is why I'm going to put the robots in the waterways. Usually, I put the infantry in the waterways. But, oh well. Mm, 
do something like that. How many, how many, yeah, that's good enough. Ah, see, perfect, 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 my friends. Senors, very perfecto. Cool. More light cruisers, sure. Do you have, I, I doubt he has any upgrades. Oh, yeah, do that, that's important. Luke Caldwell. Well, you don't get any real XP or leadership XP from training, but I almost never see this. I never remember that admirals actually have upgradable or earnable traits. I always think of generals. But never this. Can I upgrade you? Mark three. Uh, don't do that. That's not kind of useful right now. Actually, if anything, we can't get rid of that. We could upgrade you to engines. That's still good. Yeah, other than that, I mean, there's not really much to upgrade there. Um, you know what? Just trash it. I, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Cool. Do we have an upgrade here? We could eventually use more water, of course. We got logistics, too. How about Logistics 3? Revolutionaries, go ahead and... This doesn't hurt... Oh, I can't put them on yet. This would hurt our armor and piercing by 1.7 and 0.6. That's not bad. Yeah, sure, piercing goes down. But, uh... Ooh. Oh, my goodness. There goes NCR. Oh, my goodness. Alright. Oh, the Rising Star. Very good. Very good. Very nice. We hurt our monthly population, but we get more slightly more construction speed, which honestly probably isn't worth it, but whatever. Let's get some pre-war robots. Tlaloc had access to some of pre-war America's greatest robots, so basically, we do now. And that is disgusting. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Look, I... These resources probably aren't the same, but I don't like this border gore, and I usually don't get involved with this. You're gonna come over here, and at least... Oh, this is disgusting. Transfer that over. Um, in exchange, mark this, give this to them, and in exchange, you'll get, like, a thousand oaks. I'm gonna give them two places, just because it'll look better. There you go. That looks so much better. That looks... Oh, don't you think that look that looks better? Sure, maybe that wasn't fair. But that looks so much better. Thicker, more linear, I guess you could say. Just more bueno. Just more bueno. Revolutionaries, you only cost 1.25 supply, which isn't bad, actually. But doing this about 1.06, it does hurt us just a wee bit. But when I make you 40 comment width, you'll you'll thank me. Or I'll thank myself. Yeah, I'm going to thank myself for that. Um, nice, you guys are getting more stats. Actually, when you're trained, you actually have a, a slight, slight bonus to air attack, agility, less of a night operations penalty. That's pretty good. How much further do we have to go until I get a war goal against you guys? Okay, so we have less than a month. That's good. That's fine. Petro Chico, how about you? Over 120 days. Armor hardening, nice. Eye bots. Heart attack? Sure. Look at these resources. We got a ton of support robots now. Uh, oh, old country was annexed by the Washington Brotherhood. That's a big brotherhood. And comparatively, that's also a big brotherhood. They're killing New Victoria. Who are you fighting? Oh! The Shogunate has sent volunteers to Western Brotherhood. New Victoria is fighting the Brotherhood as well as the Scorp... Are you in the same faction? No, the Western Brotherhood is not in a faction of the Scorpions, but that's interesting. The Mormons. Wow. That's a snaky Mormon alliance. Northern League, obviously. Bellingham. You're kind of large, Bellingham. You're pretty darn large. Camlo got a little large as well. So, that's pretty interesting. Oh, New Vegas is at war with Kaisar. Ooh. Oh, good. Finally, we can go to war. Zaps, Neon Signs. Oh, they're running out of manpower. Oh, Kaiser's going to do well against these guys. Let's go ahead and go to war. You guys can stop training. You don't You don't have, really have any organization. Before I send my bombers to go anywhere, how are we going to do this? Are they going to take me over the river? A little bit. But go ahead and send all 250 of you guys that way. I'm going to keep the extra planes in, in reserve for now. We're going to grab some interception mission efficiency, perhaps? Or... Mm, jet engines. Jet engines. Ooh, I kind of like that. Zapata, what would happen if I told you to attack? Could you win? In most places, you probably could. Yep, you won there. Yeah, you can't win here because, well, we can't exactly pierce the enemy. They can kind of pierce us over here. That's okay. Pulse code modifications. Let's start grabbing some radio. That'd be great. Good, you're helping out here. Yeah, Pancho Villa. Oh, you just leveled up. We just saw him level up to level 7. Very nice. Very nice, my friend. Losses. Anything of importance that we need to talk about? Not really. Good. Um, 
More planes. Yeah, more, more bombers. Nothing says neo narcos the patismo like bombers. Now, make one big old front line. I thought they'd be a little bit more of a challenge, but just because Gente del Sol usually has a ton of divisions. But, you know what? I could be wrong. Ooh, are these in robots, too? They might be. Pre-war robots, very good, very good. Next up, um, party advisors. We can instruct the people of Mexico about the benefits of neo narcos zapatismo Ah, oh, the best ideology. And if you disagree with me, you're wrong. Support equipment, research time, sure. All right. Oh, Chester, do you have another upgrade, or did you just level up? He's got an actual upgrade. Wait, logistics wizard goes 15%? I thought it was 10%. Oh, praise the pata. Hmm, next up, more mission efficiency? Or maintenance efficiency? Sure, why not? Sounds like fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. Um, uh, bombers. They all mm, send half of you guys over there. That'd be nice. Can I still throw you on here? No, no, no. Okay. Very nice losses. We've lost 29 guys. Now we have scavenge old world radar systems for less 50% minus air accidents chance. Less night operations penalty and bad weather penalty goes down. They've lost 5,000. How did you? How did they lose 5,000? We're not that strong. Yeah, we got a couple hundred planes in the air. We got like really strong robots, but not, they're not overpowered. They're just just robots, man. Oh, they do have quite a big navy, though. Yet yeah, I'm still tr just putting my ships on uh, training patrols, not patrols. They're not—they're not patrolling. They're just doing navy stuff. They're just, you know, exercising because they're fat, fat navy people, sailors, robotic sailors. Hmm. Some more anti-tank, sure. Because why not? Screw it. Do it. Go ahead, my friends. Go ahead, Pancho Villa, Genta City. Good. Some more infantry. Very nice. Ah, there they go. Thank you very much, Genta Del Sol. Alright, guess who's up next? And we now have 18 army XP. Good. Now, let's get make sure we get the bombers down here too. Those guys will be important. New Vegas' downfall. Uh oh. Vegas survived the Great War, but not Kaisar's Legion. Ooh. Um Yep, good. Right there. Everyone comes down to the right. Ooh, a battle cruiser! Two battle cruisers! Very nice! And I'm about to sneeze. Oh no. Keep producing, keep making new things. That'd be great. 23 Coast Guard divisions, and how many more days do we have to wait until we get Petro Chico? 40 more days? That's not too bad. Shoshone Nation declare war on Kimolt Station. We got some more revolutionaries. I love it. And then another one. Thank you very much. Precision Motors. Very good. Precision Motors sounds like an actual automobile like business company hmm you want to buy a new vehicle at precision motors hmm. cool more logistics very nice very nice very good very good monterey what a beautiful place uh let you guys get down here do we make three more holy cow just one massive group just exercising all day just nothing but training. Um, upgrading you now probably wouldn't be worth it. But let's do it anyways, because I don't really care. I really don't care, as you can tell. Um, and they're down here. Cool. Just take off the one making convoys. I can't be bothered to take everything else off. Yeah, I'm going to let these guys do whatever they need to do. Totally fine. It doesn't take that long. I mean, we're only training ships anyway, so it doesn't matter. Cool. Alright. How's Wasteland doing? We have 242 factories. Very nice, very nice. Oh, Texas. I forgot to build up infrastructure there. We're going to need a lot of infrastructure for northern, central northern Mexico, so we take out Kaisar's Legion. That'll be important. Next up, more air bases. We're going to need more air bases on the border because whoever we're going to attack, we're going to need air bases in the southern part here as well as the northern regions as well and when we take out Baja California next up let us do pre-war thoughts many Americans turned to leftist ideology before the Great War given that they lived in a quasi fascist dystopia you know perhaps we can learn from them though we lose a little bit of stability but we do get less consumer goods so 
Expel the Rift Raft. Well, I need less than 80% stability to do that. It's paused. Do we have any more planes that we could potentially add to the group? Absolutely. Alright, continue training, guys. Oh, you just got done there. Very nice. Do we have... There are no ace pilots. How unfortunate. Now you're done training. I gave you like a day. Uh, everyone come down here. That'd be great. And, well, there's really no point waiting. The Great Protector. Nope. No protectors coming for you, man. Uh, what is the air power like down here? 12.9 damage. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Losses thus far, 4 versus 300 some. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I Yeah, I can't go to War Economy still, that's okay. We'll do War Industrials because why the heck not. Ah, Jet Engines, very nice. Jet Bombers? Now that sounds like fun. I love me some Jet Bombers. I mean, we're still mobilizing more manpower. Maintenance Efficiency 4, very good. Let's get Maintenance Efficiency 5. How efficient are these guys? They're very reliable. Equipment capture ratio is pretty darn good. Uh, yeah. More HP. Well, of course, 25. Beautiful. And they use less cells. That's good for using maintenance companies. They use less cells. Sure. They have less armor. The Lone Trees decided to hurt themselves in their own confusion. Whatever. That's totally normal. And after this, well, we pretty much are only going to border some big nations. Either Nueva Atzalan or Chichen Itza. I'll probably go to war with Nueva Atzalan. Probably. Just because I don't want to go to war with Kaiser yet. Even though he has no opponent. Actually... I'm his main opponent, so I don't want to go to war with him yet until we have more robots. That's probably actually a smart thing to do, so let's do that. A vital point targeting, very good. Do we have anything for engineering? Yes, more research speed, thank you very much. And I'll let you guys go as well now. It's There's no reason for you to not go. Yeah, you're talking over a river without air support. You know, what else is new? You know. we got to get to the refinery, radio detection. Research speed and more reinforce rate is very bueno. Next up on the list, send me one, two, three. You guys come over here and help out down here. Uh, I love the bombers. Oh, and now Khazar has hit itself in confusion as well. Actually, this would probably be the best time for me to go to war with these guys. Ooh, that Brotherhood of Mars is exactly the same color as these white legs, which is weird. Actually, Khazar's, these colors have stayed pretty much exactly the same. Everyone else has changed. Oh, Khazar, though. Ooh, he's got some divisions over there. Lucius. Lucius. Oh, you're not going to win, probably. Oh, you're probably not going to win. Oh, that's disappointing. More maintenance companies? Very good. Revolutionaries now only cost 0.93 supply a day. Petro Chico. Thank you for playing. Factories? What do I use factories for? I mean, we've already got so much. I don't really need that much more of anything. Do we need more bombers? I mean, they have just slightly better reliability. <sighs> Rocket launchers? I mean, maybe more robots? Go up to 25, maybe, for now? Really no use for you. Um, Nueva Outside is probably going to lose this fight, so we want to capitalize on that, if possible. Now, let's go ahead and deploy our soldiers accordingly to where I think we might be able to invade. Even if we go to war and we don't do that much, I still like to take at least a, a little chunk away from them. I'd like to take a little bit, uh, just a wee bit, just a wee bit, my friends. Cool, cool, cool. And then, one, two, three, four. Right there. And one, one, two, three. Don't want to use too much infantry because they are swishy. Uh, send two. Yes, I, I still remember that my planes are in the air that need uh, to be told to... Tr God dang it, train. You guys come over there. Oh, you're going to need... Make it three. We'll now do that. It's going to be a mess. As soon as we're, we we can go, I will go. Just because I don't know how long they're going to hold until... Uh, uh, what was it? Guzman? The Guzman down here and Chichen Itza is going to do. I don't know how well she's going to do, so... Uh, yeah, I need more air bases. Holy cow. I definitely need more air bases. So you, actually, all of you, hold you. 
Come there. You come down there. Um, you know what? Everyone hold. Don't move. You guys come there. You guys go over there. You all... I really wish I could put you guys on generals, but just, uh, it's a glitch for now, which kind of sucks, but you know, whatever. Um, build up the air bases around here. Mm, yep. We're going to need more air bases. We're going to need more infrastructure as well. In time. By the time we get it built, it will basically be useless. That's okay. Let time go on just a little bit more so we can get to our... Uh, focus done. Everyone, go ahead and repair for now. It's totally fine. Build up. Eh, give them two more. These guys are kind of hit hard. so, And they hit themselves hard. No one hit them. Roll out technology to scavengers. Sure. Ah, pre-war thoughts. Very nice. Let's get perpetual revolution. We told you the revolution was not yet lost. And some of you didn't believe me. But now you know. We're a big yellow Mexican blob. And we love it. Ah. So what are the Scorpions going to do next? Like, they have a little bit of manpower, not bad. 80s declared war on Delta. What's the brother doing? Dockyard expansion? They don't have to worry about the NCR anymore. Kaiser, well, he's not having a good time. And I guess at this point, I would love to see Brotherhood of Mars, like, become really great, but they're probably not going to. So we're going to wait until we can fight one big old legion here and take him out. All I care about is taking, you know, the proper amount of Mexico. So that's Greater Day Glow. I think everything's south. Tijuana? So I need to take like this, take this, take this. Until I get to like... And I get to take that as well. And that just barely connects us with uh, Mex proper Mexico. Which is kind of cool. Like, I'm, I'm not exactly sure about the borders around here. Especially with what, what, what was New Mexico. But whatever. You know, whatever. You guys come over here. Be this place where you need to go. Totally cool. Totally cool. Not enough army XP for me to do very much about that. Let's get the Perpetual Revolution. It's only 29 days, and... Very nice. Now let's do Liberate the South. The people of Southern Mexico need freedom. Freedom as well. No gods, no kings, no masters, no man a king. Every man a worker. Or every robot a worker. Okay, go ahead and stop training. And I'm going to tell you guys to mostly just... Do something like this. You don't need to be in the water, though. Mission efficiency, good. Um, yeah, that'd be nice. Very good, and we got a lot of maintenance already. That's really awesome. More radar, because I'm not going to do anything else at the moment. That's a ton of manpower. Holy cow. Col so many colony states. Um, I can't connect all of these. Oh, can I connect you? No, I don't have enough electricity, I bet. Yeah. Close, but I'm, I don't want to waste it on coring stuff when I don't need it. How do we get that much manpower? That's so much. So much. All of Mexico. Wait, what did that give us? Oh, we got corals and everything. That's why we got all that Mexico. All that manpower. My bad. That makes sense. Ooh. Sometimes I don't even read what goes on. So many cores now. Maybe I shouldn't have cored the stuff I cored earlier. That's alright, though. Peace conference. Uh oh there's a peace conference. Oh, the Brotherhood it lasted so not long. It was so short. A short-lived brotherhood. <sighs> oh, well, what's done is done. Ooh, logistics five. What about more industry? Automated harvesting. Very, very good. Oh, Kaisar's Legion. You're looking pretty huge under... Ka Kaisar. Okay, well, Kaisar, I guess, lived. Okay, crown a new Augustus. Very cool. We have liberated the south. Or we will liberate the South, and let's do some Chinese ties. Clock perhaps made a mistake by letting Zapata read Neo Maoist tracks from the 21st century. Forward with a five year plan. We lose some more stability, but we get 10%. And we get some more consumer goods that we can use. Very nice. Um, don't I get claims on all of Mexico? I do. Which means we still have to justify, manually justify on these guys. But I'm going to end the episode here. And tomorrow we will begin a war anew against Nueva Aslan. So in the meantime, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow. But today we became the Socialist Mexican Republic. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.